Us. This movie is directed by Jordan Peele, who did such movies as you might know. Be if you're not familiar with this guy by now, I think you should be. If not, you could be. <laughs> you should be. You ought to be familiar with this guy, who's done such films as Get Out, probably one of the uh, most unique and psychological thrillers of last year, as well as the recent remake Halloween, The Strangers, It. And Curse of La Llorona. La Llorona. So, this guy has done a lot of horror movies. He's done a lot of... He knows what he's... Uh, he's he's laid the groundwork for his own career, to forge his own career. Alright, this movie is... Takes place a little girl named Adelaide Wilson who had a traumatic experience when she's a little girl with her family in Santa Cruz. Comes back to her beach front property that she grew up in as a child and suddenly she has a feeling of dread that there's something uh, horrible is about to happen that she has like like paranoia that something bad is going to happen and when this strange group of people that look like a family you know they just look like a family your normal american family with um uh with masks like uh with more like they look like just your normal American family of killers that, you know, that, ah, it happens all the time. You know, there's people like that all over the place. Sorry about the sarcasm. So, when they find out that the people that are in front, uh, when they take off their mask, they realize that they're a bunch of doppelgangers. So, they're people that look exactly like them, from down from the father to the children to her to Adelaide. And she is just flabbergasted and just completely terrified by, by this unsettling discovery when she realizes there's people that look exactly like them that show up in the middle of the night to attack and kill them and take them captive. So this movie is probably one of the most unique movies. I said this last year about Get Out, but that you can't compare pair get out with this movie us is definitely a movie in a class by itself and it is just amazingly directed like jordan peele i agree with people say that jordan peele is going to be like the new stephen king of horror the new master of horror i don't i wouldn't say he was like m night Shyamalan or something like m Shyamalan. Ooh, ah, uh, M. Night Shyamalan. Lama ding dong Ooh, ah, uh, e, ah, or, ah, uh, ah, uh, m night Shyamalan. ding dong I don't know, I just had to do it. I just like making fun of his last name. M. Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan a ding dong. So, he's the, he's the guy. He's the, he's the man. He's the top dog. The top cheese. El numero uno. And he's... A, what... A, what uh, I'm rambling here. So, this movie is not necessarily... It, at first, it's kind of like... It kind of feels like you're watching The Purge. And then it absolutely shifts into a direction that you just did not expect. So with every horror movie, you notice that if this started, this trend started started in the eighties. They used a biblical scripture of doom of to describe what's happening. So uh, spoilers up ahead. So if you haven't seen this movie, I highly advise you you do watch this movie though. So. Basically, the doppelgangers on these movies, they're not clones. They're actual doppelgangers that came from underground, from this underground sewer or subway that have been there for a very long time. It is very evident since the very beginning they are there because she doesn't realize that there is actually a clone, a doppelganger of her, or her father and her mother. Adelaide does not realize that at first. And they come up from the ground and proceed to start killing everybody. So this movie is... A slasher flick it is a psychological thriller it is a horror movie in every aspect of that word horror because you will be terrified by this movie and the most astonishing there is just like a plot twist to this movie that really had me going it, it's those kind of movies that are not predictable even though it, yeah it, yeah yeah it, it, like the purge at, at, in the beginning but after that it just goes it shifts to a completely different direction and what I like most about is the way that Adelaide's uh, doppelganger sounds like. She sounds a lot like this. Oh, sorry. 
She sounds a lot like that, so that I, 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 that's the only part of the movie that I didn't like. I didn't find that unsettling or scary or anything. I found it actually hilarious. So, they, uh, a bunch of other families are attacked. So, this is happening all, all over the world. People are being killed by these, by their own doppelgangers, by people that look exactly like them. And so, when they're, when they, it is kind of like in the beginning, it's kind of like a game of cat and mouse. The family is trying to kill off the other family because they are trying to kill them. So, but, so if you if somebody tried to kill kill your family, what would you do, right? So it makes a lot of sense. So at the very end of the movie, probably one of the most just unsettling aspects of the movie is how Adelaide's doppelganger tells her what happened. Holy crap. So she tells her the story, but it, she says it in kind of like a, in, a, in a riddle kind of format. It's kind of strange the way she says it, but she, she kind of has to listen to her because they're underground. And so there's the plot twist that you I love this plot twist because you don't know what's going to happen. It's no, there's absolutely no predictability after this that. So actually, Adelaide was exchanged with her doppelganger. So her doppelganger is actually the girl that's been living the, her life with her family for the past 30, 30, 30, 35 years or something like that. So, And they formed this strange line after they kill everybody. So at, you can hear the headlines at first of radio, and then suddenly there's no absolute silence. And when they come... To civilization, and this is, and it takes place mostly in Santa Cruz. I like the location, by the way. And they're just in single file line, holding each other's hand, and the line goes for at for miles after that. So it, it kind of tells you there's going to be a sequel, and I cannot wait for this to see the sequel. I don't know what I was doing. I must have been asleep at the wheel, thinking I didn't go go out to see this movie. So I just barely saw it not too long ago. I mean, I'm like, what's wrong with me? So if you have you seen this movie, Us, because this is going to redefine the way horror movies are made. This is not another wannabe Purge copycat. This is not another wannabe Halloween or Jason Voorhees. This is not a Nightmare on Elm Street. This movie stands alone in a list of copycats, if you know what I mean. And... So Us gives me the, the kind of feelings that you, it's a movie that makes you think that it's not predictable. That it, you don't know what's going to happen next because the movie ends with Adelaide traveling up the coast. As, and so they're separated from her husband and her husband's with her, with her son. And her actually, her one of her children is missing, is actually missing and she's been... Uh, kidnapped or dis she abs the, her one of her children disappears and so she's out there looking for them while her husband and her son are traveling up the coast and all they could see is these strange it just it's just it is just un this movie is just unsettling for the aspect of the panic of not knowing what in god's green earth is going on and that's what i loved about us and this movie is gonna get I have two ratings today for this because this movie is going to have that. Let's celebrate because this movie is Oscar worthy rating because this movie is Oscar worthy for sure. I mean, I give this movie a 10 out of 10. I give this movie an A plus because or an A minus because it does have a little nod to the purge in the beginning. But once that's over with, once the that aspect is taken out and it is downsized you see a movie that really makes you think that you're not sure what's going to happen next okay let me know what you if have you seen us are you familiar with get out do you know jordan peele so far do you know his work recently the different movies he's been doing because you have let me know in the comments below have you seen get out what did you think about that because you can't really classify either of those movies 
They're two very two different types of horror movies. And this guy looks like he's going to be the next great horror movie director because there's a there is a shortage of good horror movies, and this is not one of them. All right, thank you so much. I have the YouTube alternative, and I am still your reviewer. I'll see you guys real soon.